Today in crypto, just what the heck is Zillica? And could it be an underdog Ethereum killer with massive potential for growth and adoption? This video will explore that and much more. The Crypto Lark, this is where you subscribe for all of the hottest and all of the latest happening out here in the wild, wild land of crypto. Also, for those of you who have been watching coins like Zillica going crazy and want to start trading crypto, make sure that you educate yourself before doing any trading. If you need help, then I have made a course called Crypto Trading Explained. It is going to walk you through all of the basics that you need to know to get started. Things like key indicators, identifying trends, identifying breakouts, how to put in a great stop loss, how to manage your risk, and how to make successful trades. There's a link down below where you can learn more. Also, before we talk about Zillica, a quick disclaimer, of course, altcoin investing carries significant amounts of risk. This video is not intended as a solicitation, nor is it intended as a recommendation for you to run out and to buy Zillica. It is just an overview of what the heck Zillica is and its potential. In fact, you will probably lose all of your money if you invest in altcoins. Any investment should be made on that understanding and proper risk management strategies should always be employed in your investments. I am not personally invested in Zillica and I currently have no plan to invest in Zillica. Also, this video is not sponsored, just free information for you. I no longer do sponsored coin reviews on the channel. So if you do appreciate this free information and you want to support the channel, then please hit that like button and share this content around the internet. Also, if you do want to pick up some Zillica, then the best place to do so is over on Binance. In fact, Binance is a fantastic place for finding and for trading a wide range of different altcoins. It's about where I do probably around 90% of my altcoin trading personally. And as a bonus, you can get a 20% rebate on fees on Binance if you sign up using the link down below. So with all that said, WTF is Zillica anyway. Well, Zillica is a high-performance, high-security blockchain platform made for enterprises and next-generation applications. At least that is what they say on the website. It is a blockchain made to scale. It is an operational blockchain whose mainnet has been live for a year. One of the big selling points I think gets a lot of people excited for Zillica is its scalability. You see, scalability still remains a major issue for many of the top blockchains. Bitcoin only does like five transactions per second. Ethereum on the main net transactions, only around 15 per second. Zillica though, has a much higher transaction per second capacity due to its use of sharding technology, which essentially means breaking things down into smaller fragments called shards. So by dividing the network into smaller parts, it actually allows for multiple transactions to be processed in parallel, basically making things way, way more scalable. This results in increased throughputs and more efficiency, while at the same time preserving decentralization and security. And as more nodes join the network, more transactions per second become possible. So if we were to assume that there are 3,600 nodes, then Zillica could process around 2,500 transactions per second, which is around kind of Visa MasterCard levels. So definitely not bad at all. While sharding is currently live on the mainnet, staking is not yet live on the Zillica mainnet. Now this is one of the next highly anticipated milestones for Zillica and could see a similar rise in enthusiasm as we've seen with other blockchains like Tezos or even of course the excitement surrounding the upcoming staking for Cardano. Now in terms of sharded blockchains, it is definitely making a good impact, but there's others like Elrond or Harmony they're both very strong competition for what Zillica is doing, except they have a higher risk to reward ratio since they have much smaller market caps compared to Zillica. 
And of course, Ethereum will indeed one day launch a sharded blockchain. Come on, Vitalik, when's it going to happen, man? Someday. Someday is when. And the recent deployment of Matic, Omise Go, Raiden, StarkX, and other optimistic rollups to Ethereum mean it is now able to achieve massive scalability at Layer 2. Obviously, Layer 2 does have certain trade-offs that need to be made, and Zillica scaling on Layer 1 via sharding is an important achievement which should not be casually cast aside. Zillica also introduces a new coding language for the creation of smart contracts called Scylla. Now, this language enables formal verifications of the security of smart contracts, which helps to ensure that dApps and other contracts can be deployed with greater confidence that there's not going to be any bugs. Ethereum, it's got a history of bugs just kind of popping up in smart contracts and people losing lots and lots of money in part. This is due to the use of the Solidity programming language. Well, launching Scylla is definitely a risk, but if developers do see it as a superior way to write code, then it could be a risk that pays off. By the way, in August 2019, Scylla was peer-reviewed and accepted at one of the most prestigious programming languages conferences. So it's got that going for it anyway. Now let's talk about the progress that Zillica has made in terms of adoption and really growing their ecosystem. One of the stated focuses of Zillica is enterprise adoption, which is definitely a great market, market to be targeting. But as of now, there's really no super major enterprises of note using Zillica. There's no Microsoft or Samsung using Zillica right now, which places it miles behind players like Ethereum with their eminent task force and the baseline protocol and actual current use by major enterprises like Ernst & Young and Microsoft and lots of other big, big international names. But that being said, there is a fledgling ecosystem starting to develop on and work with Zillica. Like many other blockchains, Zillica has teamed up with Chainlink, allowing Zillica smart contracts to be able to have that access to real-time data feeds via Chainlink's oracles. Chainlink, man, it's everywhere. Every, every conversation talking about Chainlink. Anyway, <laughs> Zillica also has unstoppable domains. Now, this is the company that is replacing blockchain addresses with human readable names. And also, they're doing uncensorable websites. So that is part of what Zillica is doing. You can get a .zill address. However, the Ethereum-based unstoppable domains at .crypto will likely prove more popular in the long run than the .zill addresses, but still it is a valuable part of the ecosystem. Zillica also has a partnership with the Y Combinator backed Xfers, a peer-to-peer -peer payments platform which has the approval from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. So Xfers and Zillica together they're ruling out XSGD. This is a cryptocurrency pegged to the Singapore dollar, so a Singapore dollar stablecoin. Having a stablecoin ecosystem, it is super important for the rise of decentralized finance on Zillica. And speaking of which, Zillica is also working with Switchio, a NEO-based decentralized exchange, to help build the Zillica DEX which is reportedly going to look something like Uniswap and should hopefully be launched by the end of this year. Zillica has also teamed up with Maycoin, the largest digital asset trading platform in Taiwan. Together, they are building something called HG Exchange, which will be a security token exchange. It currently has an application sitting with the Monetary Authority of Singapore asking for admittance to the FinTech regulatory sandbox in Singapore. Now, if approved, this exchange will go live in 2020. And we know that there's been a lot of talk about the excitement building around security tokens. So it could be a very fortuitous time to launch this. Zillica is also working with the privacy project Incognito, which will allow users to deposit Zill tokens on Incognito's sidechain and thus have private Zill that they can use. Next is a very important partner called Elliptic, which is bringing anti-money laundering compliance to the Zillica blockchain. Now this is very big for having that professional enterprise edge that they want to have. Elliptic will monitor transactions on the Zillica network to ensure that there's no trafficking and that there's no laundering happening on the network with any potential illicit capital. Helping to try to establish Zillica as a 
clean blockchain to satisfy regulators. And then there are smaller players that are building different applications on top of Zillica. People like Brighttree who are using Zillica. Brighttree is a project aimed at digitizing, refueling data from tanker ships. Now it's already installed on 40 plus ships in Asia. So it's the real thing that's happening. And it was selected by Shell for their ideas incubator. So, you know, stuff's happening there. The roadmap ahead, ZK Snarks privacy tech is coming. Obviously, this is a standard. It's becoming a standard anyway very quickly for many smart contract platforms. Also, the team is exploring layer two solutions. So we're going to get those coming on board and cross-chain interoperability, which is absolutely essential, especially for a competitor chain like Zillica, all of which will be key to continue to compete in the fast-paced blockchain world. Network stats are looking healthy at the moment. Nearly half a million Zillica addresses, 4.5 million transactions since the mainnet launched last year, and 2,400 nodes, meaning it is strongly decentralized. Remember, it's only been on mainnet for a little more than a year. The Zill token is used as the gas of the network, and it will be rewarded, of course, to the network participants for staking. If we look at other cryptos like Tezos, then we can actually assume that staking will probably be a major price catalyst for Zillica moving forward. KuCoin, they've just announced that they're going to be supporting staking for Zillica when it goes live in the coming months. I would expect other major exchanges like Binance to also signal support for that. So it's coming soon. The expected rate of return for Zillica is up to 10.42% per annum. That's almost twice of what Tezos... So it could be a big driver for the price. Now, in terms of the price, by the way, it's currently 92% down from its all-time high, currently sitting around 190 Satoshis. The all-time high was 2,500 Satoshis, which put it at a market cap of around $1.6 billion compared to the current market cap of around $190 million. Now, a 10x move for Zillica would not be unreasonable by any means in the coming bull run. With staking going live soon on the mainnet, that should drive a lot of increased interest in price speculation and, of course, accumulation by long-term holders for Zillica. All of that does good things for the price. The tech behind Zillica, it is solid. The direction that Zillica is moving in is solid. They're getting good partners and they're building that ecosystem out. A lot of progress and a lot of development has been made with solid plans for new tech moving forward. The team remains highly active in developing the product as well. So a lot of things going for it. But of course, then there is Ethereum, which has the first mover advantage. And of course, just a gigantic advantage right now in terms of the number of developers and the network effect and the enterprise is actually working on it and the decentralized finance and exchange adoption and all this stuff. Look, Zillica's got great tech, but having better tech today doesn't mean that Zillica will necessarily capture a significant portion of Ethereum's market cap. The long-term prospects for Zillica, they remain speculative at this point, but you could probably say the same thing about the majority of the different competitor blockchains out there, which of course just underlines the fact that Zillica is but one of dozens of competing blockchains all wanting to be heard and all wanting to capture your investor dollars. Many of these other blockchains, they're technologically very strong. Some of them are incredibly well connected with massive enterprises and big developer communities. Competition is fierce out there. Long-term success, it is far from certain, and Zillica certainly has its work cut out for it. Look, guys, you gotta get real. Zillica, it is definitely an underdog right now, but that's where the opportunity lies. So if Zillica can continue to really build its momentum, if it can find that core group of users and those compelling use cases and those great dApps built on top of the Zillica blockchain, then I believe that Zillica stands a good chance to be able to capture a good enough portion of the pie. Anyway, those are just my two Satoshis. Do let me know what you think about Zillica. Is it going to be the Ethereum killer? Will it be able to stake out enough of a portion of the market share to be able to survive long term? Or is your money on another competitor chain like Cardano or Icon or Elrond or Tezos or one of the other like five dozen blockchains that are competing with Ethereum? <laughs> 
let me know down below in the comment section. Hope you're having a freaking awesome day. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video. As always, I super appreciate your time. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.